leaving uh, Kailakan and Sky for our voyage. Heading south on our Contessa 32. Is that yeah. Jimmy Watt from the Gavin Maxwell yeah. books? How amazing. He's an old man now and he's got, he's, he's in two books as well, he's got like a couple of launches. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never met him, but he was on the same old card. Wow. Um, so here we are, coming up to Kyle Ray. With a nice breeze pushing us along. Over to uh, Elan Donan, isn't it? Elan Donan Castle. Elan Donan Castle over there. That's the seat of who? Who is it? Who is it? It's the, it's, uh, is it the McCrees. Oh, the McCrees. Famous Gavin Maxwell, the Otterman. That's his house. And um, foundations that burnt down. Camasferna. Beautiful morning in late August. Looking. Um, Towards the west, and there's the mainland. There's the there's sky, the edge of sky, and this is the just the mainland opposite sky on the southern end of sky. Down there, yeah. Yeah, the famous big Ardnamuck and the big head, and that's the furthest west, isn't it, in Scotland? Is that? So we're looking at egg here, are we? Egg, yeah. It's rum up ahead, dart here. And that's uh, going into Loch Nevis. Loch Nevis. So that ferry's going into Loch Nevis, is it? Mali, got that's Mali just there. Sky. Amazing. Anna ahead of us now. And um, just passing the top of the drum. Coming into Canna after a day sail. Down to Col and Tyree, down to the south, way beyond. We can't see them, they're down there, and then the edge of Rum. So here we are on a mooring in Cana. It's so beautiful. That's the cafe over there and the church. Some coos, and that's the scene of the house over there, the main house. All this island, and it's got a heritage. There. A few 
five yards, three, four yards. Here we are stuck, 47, 40 knot winds and uh, yep, we're stuck in Canna. Hopefully we'll get out tomorrow but it's pretty wild at the moment. We're being swept around with big gusts and uh, Yeah, yeah. And private. Kind of fairy waiting room, a bit different. The music of Fiona McKenzie, the local musician, playing. And then a story about the island. It's, um, kings are buried here, and um, there's lots of churches. It's a place of worship. and various waves of history, the Vikings before them, the Gales, and before them, the Picts. It's a lovely artistry here. John Lorne Campbell bought the island and was a very philanthropic um, owner. But the island was cleared long ago, of course, of the clearances. And um, it's now a popular destination for sailors like us. Very spiritual feeling place when we came here last night and anchored. Beautiful green swathes of hillside running down to rocky shores. Seals, cormorants. This is the um, the owner's house. rum to egg um, it's going to another storm coming in so we want to get a good anchorage and we've been given a, a temporary mooring by by a fellow Contessa 32 sailor so we're going to take his mooring for when this next storm comes and we'll be secure and egg and looking at the uh, caves on the uh, east side of egg population of about 75 people in egg it's a community owned island and it's a bit, been a bit of a model for uh, other islands around the world where the community's taken ownership and um, developed their own lifestyle and uh, um, they've even got a brewery on it and uh, there's a youth hostel on it that, uh, 
build, so good time to get out of the uh, niche. Skipper, what's the situation? Everything's under control. Everything's under control. The wind's fairly picked up, though. You imagine a broch on top of that um, rock there? Yeah. But that would be pretty impregnable, wouldn't it? It's quite a climb to get up there. Yeah. You see the solar. Ronan's trying to find out where the brewery is, funnily enough. <laughs> Not the ancient Pictish remains or burial sites, but where the brewery is. <laughs> Did you find where the brewery is? I think it's up the oh. They're ready for the sales, actually. They usually go to the sales in, in late August. Late August, it's a shame you hear them all, all the mothers bleating like that as they get separated. That's called Skur. What's it called? Skur? Let's see if I can find the full name of the Skur. Ah, Skur. There you go. So here we are, coming into Malig, 
after. How long? How long were we sailing for? About two, three, two hours. Two, two hours. That was good. About 12 miles in two hours or so. That was pretty impressive. Tessa 32. What's the population of Mali, I wonder? It looks about 6,000. Oh, I wouldn't have thought it was as big as that. Okay. Maybe. No, it's not maybe as big No, it's only a few thousand. Mm. Yeah. Coming into uh, Malig, um, this is the most northerly um, yacht haven in the west coast here, and um, it's an all-weather haven. Okay. 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 We got this. Mo you got this fishing boat coming up, and you. Just watch this fishing boat. Is he going into fishing harbour? Well, it looks like he's a cruise boat. It's a cruise boat. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Yeah. Hey guys. Harbor seal chasing the boat. <laughs> 